inverted hedgehogs, coral parrots, strange songbirds and cube fish are just some examples of the incredible and unknown fauna that I invite you to discover with me in this fascinating new documentary series. First of all, we're going to have the rare opportunity to witness the maturing of the extraordinary cube fish. As strange as it may seem, both to you and to myself, this animal matures in the manner of a ripening fruit. Once it has been released and dropped to the surface, it begins a long and gruelling journey to the safety of its river. Today we're going to see all that and much more. You can already hear its breathing. The cube fish. A cross between a toad, a carp and an apple. It's just about to drop. This new series is a groundbreaking and truly original project, only suitable for open, curious minds like ours. This is a major departure from the big budget productions you've come to expect from me in the Amazon, the African savannah, and so on, which have perhaps become a little repetitive and overproduced, but which, apart from countless awards and honors, have earned me. Oh, oh, it's happening! Incredible. This is a real moment of discovery. A chance to seize opportunities, explore new frontiers, and allow ourselves to be captivated by this amazing new world that is opening up before us. Though, of course, always leaving a door open. But for now, let's focus on the cube fish and its journey. A journey that promises to be fascinating. It doesn't look like this one has made it. Hmm. Others are dropping. Maybe this odd behavior will become clearer later on. Let's meet another of the creatures. This animal here is a very unusual variety of hedgehog. Very unusual. Remarkably, and unfortunately for the hedgehog, its spines grow inwards. Inwards. It loses large amounts of a liquid similar to human tears, which means it must constantly search for water, which always seems to be out of reach. Although the spines don't penetrate any of its vital organs, they still pose a major problem to the inverted hedgehog. Procreation, although desirable, is avoided, as it leaves no survivors. A knock, or even just a sneeze, can be fatal. Right. Okay. Nothing new around here? Oh, well then, I need a volunteer. You. It looks like we can see inside the hedgehog. Let's see if... Yes, that's right. The animal manages to stay alive despite its ingrowing spines because none of them penetrate any of the vital organs. Interesting. Let's see if there have been any developments with the cube fish. Wow, that's great. It looks as though we're in luck. Mother Nature, even with these beings, eventually finds a way. We 
hope it will be able to get around this obstacle. Others follow its example. What a pity. He didn't make it this time. I call you, you won't answer. Look, it's about the series. I just don't see it working out. So, word for word, it waits motionlessly for its favorite fruit to ripen, which only happens for a few seconds every year. They all die in the attempt. How does it sound? This really is an impressive making noise. What appear to be balls that it's juggling are actually its vital organs. Risky, but effective. Come on, you've already got her. You can't do both things at the same time, just get on with it. Listen carefully. It produces all the urine that it will produce in its lifetime within the space of two weeks. And the same with the faces and so on. Do you have any idea how much it stinks in here? Have I? Ah, how cute! Let's see. Play that! Good boy, good boy! Now, where's the ball? Where, where is it? Can't you find it? Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's see. Your, your leg. Give me your leg. No, not that. Now, now, now you. The seal! Very good! The seal! You have the ball! <laughs> you little rascal! Come on. Do, do something else! Wow! No idea, no. The soldier! The soldier! <laughs> the soldier! The... Give me a break. Jesus Christ. Now what? Now what are you going to do? Come on, let's cross. One, two, go. Come on, off you go. Control that dog button. Fortunately, one of our friends has made it. <laughs> You can do it. He's finally made it to the river. He's worked so hard to reach where his clumsy movements will no doubt become agile and graceful. Alternatively, the river may be of boiling oil and he'll fry like a little croquette. 